Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a detailed roof using patches. Uh, but first I'm going to show you how to create a basic roof just using brushes. So let's get started. I've created two brushes here. They both uh, span exactly half of the width of the building. Um, I'm just going to assume you know how to use the edge tool. So just press E on your keyboard. I'm just going to bring up one of these edges uh, to define the height of my building. And I'm going to bring the other one up to meet it. Um, I'm in a grid 4 doing this, so um, I'm going to take that point up as far as it will go to make sure this brush is in grid 4. I'm just dragging out these edges here um, just to be able to create an overhang. It's important that you pull down an angle for that, otherwise it will just resize the brush. You want to make sure there's no gaps between the, uh, uh, the roof uh, and the walls of the building. So I'm just pulling out there for a bit more of um, an overhang. So now I'm just going to create this brush in here. I'm going to line up with the outside edge of our walls and I'm going to make sure it's important that I line this brush up uh, with the inside of where these two brushes meet. I'm just going to use the clipper tool here. I'm just going to clip this away. Um, this will create a nice triangular brush that fits in between our uh, roof pieces and it'll make sure there's no gaps between our roof pieces and our end brush, our triangular brush. So I'm just going to uh, clip that away, repeat that on this side. I'm just going to delete the excess now since we're uh, happy with what we've got. Um, I'm now just going to uh, reselect this triangular brush and uh, resize it. I'm just going to line it up with our outside wall. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to copy it, uh, move it over, and line it up with our other side. Uh, once we're happy there, I'm just going to deselect. And then I'm going to select the outside edges just using a uh, control shift left click. I'm going to do both sides at the same time and I'm just going to texture that quickly. Now I'm just going to texture this roof using a basic tool, a tool, a tile texture. Uh, I'm just going to do this quickly just to show you. Um, and I'm just going to go around these outside faces here using Control Shift left click just to select the faces. I'm just going to give my wood texture. Um, uh, once I'm happy with that, uh, oh, missed some bits. Come back and do those really quick. Just text those up. I'm just going to rotate them just so they look a little bit better. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, make sure we get the inside, select the faces. I'm just going to use that uh, roof there. Okay, that's it. So that's basically how we can create uh, a good looking uh, roof just using uh, brushes. But now we're going to move on and do some detailed stuff. And we're going to use some patches to create our roof. Okay, so we've got our roof in place now and we're going to replace these uh, brushes with patches. So I'm just going to delete those away. Uh, there's a couple of ways we could go about this. I'm just going to show you one way. Uh, I'm in grid 4 now and I'm just going to uh, draw out this brush and I'm going to line it up with the top of where this triangle brush is. I'm going to switch back to my top view using control tab and then I'm just going to, at this point I'm going to add what I need for the overhang. I'm just going to caulk it. Um, I'm going to come up to patch I'm going to select simple curve patch and I'm going to give this patch 5x5 five five verts. That should give us enough uh, for what we want to do. Uh, so now that's uh, a curve patch. I'm going to switch down to my front view and I'll press V on my keyboard to bring up the verts. Uh, staying in my front view, I'm just going to uh, switch down to uh, a grid 8 here. I'm going to drag over and select those rows. I'm just going to move them down. Once you've got them selected, just use uh, Alt left click to drag them down. I'm going to do my best to line them up so they're square. Um, just do the same on this side. Grab that middle row, pull it down. And once we're happy, we've got a kind of uh, a V shape we just made with our patch here. I'm just going to go around and check I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to press uh, Control Shift T to bring up the thicken tool. Um, I want to uh, thicken this to a grid four, so I'm just going to type in. Or I'm going to keep seam selected and press OK. So now that's thickened up, I'm just going to check. Oh, we've got some gaps here. Uh, not a big deal. I'm just going to change down to slightly lower grid. I'm going to press V on the keyboard, select those rows. I'm just going to do my best to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's just as long as there's no gaps between the patches in that triangular brush. Uh, it's OK if they overlap a little bit. Try your best to line up. So once we're happy there's no gaps, <coughs> um, we've got our uh, patches in place now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to texture these quickly, same as we did before. I'm just going to use this uh, 
this tile again. I'm just going to cap this texture. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to natural it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm just going to select these uh, patches underneath to uh, get that rough of texture going. I'm going to natural that again. Uh, select the outside faces. These are a little easier to do now. They're now they're um, patches rather than brushes, we can select them a lot easier. Uh, they're a little bit more versatile to texture with, especially when it comes to um, doing those uh, angled pieces. I'm just going to natural these. Um, as you can see, it just it does it nice and quick for us. So I'm not too happy with that, so I'm just going to select these two edges here and rotate the texture. Press S on your keyboard, bring up the surface inspector, and just rotate that until you're happy. So I know what you're thinking. We've just made the exact same roof as we had before. Why did we even bother with patches? Well, this is where we do add some detail. So I'm going to select both the top and the bottom um, patches here. I'm going to press V on our keyboard. I'm going to drag out and select both of those verts at the same time. I'm just going to pull down slightly. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to create a slightly sunken look to the top of this roof. Um, it's giving us an old building. It's a rural building. Over time, you know, ten, roofs tend to fall in on themselves a little bit especially when they're made of wood uh, wouldn't happen today but you know <laughs> so i'm just going to go in and select these birds here and it's important when you're doing this um, vert selection that you move yourself into a position where you can select only the verts you want to work with because you accidentally select some other birds and you could screw up something and, uh, it'll be a bit of a headache to fix so just make sure you can select those birds Okay, so once we're happy with that, I'm just going to uh, re-natural this texture. I think we move some verts around it and move the texture around as well. So that's re-natural. I'm just going to check around. I'm happy with that. It looks kind of cool. Uh, there's some more detail in there than before. So once we're happy with that, the shape of our roof, I'm just going to select this top patch here. Uh, I'm going to select the down to a grid 8 just so it's easier to move around. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to lay it back over. Uh, I'm just going to raise it up as well slightly. So it's easy to work with. I'm going to find myself a blend texture. Uh, being that it's a rural roof, you know, they do collect moss and leaves and stuff. So I'm just going to select this texture uh, texture for time. Uh, I'm going to bring up my advanced uh, terrain tool. I'm just going to press flatten and alpha. I'm going to slide my amplitude and my radius down slightly. I'm just going to come in and alpha blend away some of this texture. Uh, just use a alt left click to uh, get rid of some. And what I'm trying to do is get rid of the bulk of it. Um, I'm just going to slide my amplitude back up a bit. Um, I'm just gonna, trying to get rid of the bulk of this texture. I'm going to come back in and re-add it so it's a slightly lighter layer. Um, it's not so thick on the roof. And all I'm doing is using Alt Left Click to, alt left click to take it away. Um, and I'm just using Alt Right Click to re-add it slightly so it's not quite so heavy as you can see as I'm taking it away. And re-adding it, the texture just becomes a little lighter. It's not so thick on the roof. We can still see the tile, but we can also see the uh, the dirt or whatever we want. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. Um, so I'm just going to realign it with our, our top patch. I'm um, just going to deselect and have a look around and see what I think. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. And, uh, we've got some nice detail in there with the sunken roof, and we added some nice texture on top there now. Um, that will look nice in our map. There's no gaps. I'm happy. So yeah, uh, the last thing we're going to do here, I'm just going to uh, select that patch again. Just because I want to make it uh, non-colliding again, just to help us with um, our collision data. And, uh, it doesn't need to have any collision data for it. No one's going to be standing on it. No one's going to be shooting. It's not going to need anything like that. So we just make it non-colliding just to help us a bit. Okay, and that's it. That's it, we just made a nice patch roof and a lot of detail in there. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.